<laughs> Olivia Troy, uh, you've heard this story everywhere they go. This Pence aide yeah. is turning on Trump. Uh, this Pence, this Pence hire is now yep. talking about. Here's a clip to give you an idea where uh, she's talking about Donald Trump behind closed doors. This is the insider who's turned on the administration. Mm, not quite. Yeah. This okay. is Olivia Troy, the person you're supposed to know as. And this ties into the, the Hunter Biden thing. It's nothing but hearsay. All of the scandals right. with Donald Trump. Mm. This is the new one. They want you to think that everyone is turning on Donald Trump. So hopefully you will. These are his closest insiders. And Mike Pence, close insider, Olivia Troy, talking about how horrible they are behind closed doors. Did the President of the United States really say that? Uh -huh. Absolutely. <laughs> I was sitting to the right of him in the room when he said it. Whoa. And he was like, and you know when you're a politician, you have to shake a lot of hands. You have to shake a lot of hands and these people are disgusting. It's gross. And so maybe COVID, COVID's probably a good thing, right? I don't have to shake hands. I don't have to do that anymore. He said that maybe COVID's a good thing because he doesn't have to shake hands with people, with <laughs> disgusting people. That's what he said. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> By the way, John, this is well known. Donald Trump is a germaphobe. I yeah. thought Donald Trump <laughs> yeah. was a dick no when thing. I was a kid because I happened to read an Esquire magazine. It might have been Rob Report. I used to read yeah. these at Archambault in Canada on the newsstand, and he talked about how he hated social gatherings because yeah. he didn't like shaking hands. Does it mean that ho doesn't mean that he thinks his voters are disgusting? Does Howie Mandel think everyone on Deal or No Deal is <laughs> right, disgusting because yeah. he fist bumps? It's well known, and this was probably said in the context of a joke. Most important, Olivia Troy, by the way, was not hired. He wasn't, she wasn't handpicked by Mike. She worked in the Bush and Obama administration. She was right, a legacy yeah. hire from the Department of Homeland Security. She never liked Donald Trump and Mike Pence. This is all they have. Oh, Russia. Well, there's nothing there. Donald Trump called the troops losers and suckers. Well, we've confirmed that's not true. Yeah, well, look right, at this yeah. new scandal. Can you believe that he hates his own supporters? No, because she wasn't picked by Donald Trump or Mike Pence. She's a liar, and that's funny as shit, so I don't care. <laughs> Just like when he said to, uh, remember was uh, 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 Sarah Huckabee Sanders yeah. Yeah. with Kim Jong-un. He said, oh, I think, he, th this is the famous yeah, scandal. Yeah. He said, I think Kim Jong is taking a liking to you. Go take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how we know that story? Yeah. Because she told us it. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't it's a, a scandal. Joke. This was probably, yeah. they probably said, hey, well, it's like this lady could have been a librarian. Like, ah, oh, we're going yeah. through the previous staff. Uh, do you want to keep the library? Uh, what's she going to, what does she do? Shush people who uses a library. <laughs> She got a yeah. nice little pooper on her, too. I'm joking. Oh, no. ah. Yeah, this Troy gal seems like a, a, she'd be able to take a joke real well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And let's Very be honest. Reliable source. People are disgusting, <sighs> okay? That. People are disgusting. <laughs> people are disgusting. <laughs> Come on. Maybe. Some gotta be real. Disgust. I'm not going to lie. When we have, when we have, uh, we do the meet and greets after the show, right, right. I love meeting fans. But every now and then, someone comes up, and it is pungent. It is. Yeah, it is sure. pungent. It's a life. And they're like, and they're coughing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and this is pre-COVID that you had this. Yeah, I, I, I am not a hater of people, but I, I am a hater of uh, touching a lot of people. Ah, Are you saying yes. COVID's a good thing, Stephen? Yeah, that's basically uh, what I just heard as well. You know what? I'm neutral. <laughs> at this point think about it. every major scandal this is what the, yeah, yeah. there's that guy who does the what the trump report every day it's like uh, let's list this so far donald trump is a rapist no no, no that's again no. people who've come out and they've all been debunked donald trump colluded with russia no no we know that's true Do not true donald trump uh called the troops losers and suckers no no oh the former donald trump aide said that he hates his supporters no no that's what they have. Do you know what the Every scandals are with Hunter Biden? Receipts of $3.5 million from the wife of the mayor of Moscow used for sex slaves. <laughs> and Daddy Almost everyone According to news. a Senate report. Yeah, exactly. It's got a little bit more weight to it. And by the way, she was actually fired. The lady was actually fired oh. in question. She had nothing to lose, according to Bill Crystal, a famous never Trumper now, right? He had nothing to lose in, against going against the most powerful sucked. world. Yeah, exactly. Oh, different guy, I think. <laughs> Bill Crystal, uh, not Billy. Isn't it Mick Crystal? <laughs> I don't know which one it is. All right. But nonetheless, she was fired. Great a three-star three general came out and said, actually, I was there in every one of these meetings. I never heard him say anything like that. And I fired her and escorted her from the building. A three-star general versus her. Yeah. I'm not sure who I'm going to believe. Biden just heard escort? <laughs> Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10, 15 Eastern.